Hey guys, welcome back to Cruising with Matthew, and today I'm going to be talking all about MSC Virtuosa, the first large cruise ship commencing sailings in the United Kingdom since the outbreak of COVID-19. So I really hope you enjoy this video. So MSC Virtuosa is the newest ship within the MSC fleet and also is MSC's flagship. She is a Merivalia Plus Clash cruise ship and so shows similarities to her sister ship MSC Grandiosa. She is a huge cruise ship spanning 19 passenger decks as well as weighing in at 181,000 gross tons and can carry at normal capacity 6,300 guests and around 1,700 crew. Now, what makes MSC Virtuosa so special within the United Kingdom is the fact that she is the first large cruise ship sailing out of Southampton and indeed the rest of the United Kingdom since the outbreak of COVID-19. And MSC are going to build upon the health policies that they developed on ships such as MSC Grandiosa when they recommenced sailing in August 2020 within the Mediterranean. So they have a ton of experience of how to sail in such a way to mitigate the risk of COVID-19 transmission. So MSC Virtuosa commenced her first sailing on the 20th of May and Virtuosa will sail four night cruises from Southampton stopping in Portland and then on the 12th of June will be able to embark on seven night sailings which will include stops in Portland as well as Belfast and offer multiple embarkation points such as Liverpool and Greenock which is close to Glasgow. She is also going to be one of the first ships to sail from Southampton's newest terminal recently named as the Horizon Terminal when it is fully completed and until the 21st of June when hopefully the UK government is potentially going to lift social distancing restrictions, MSC's cruisers are going to be limited to a thousand people. So when you consider the fact that this ship is used to at maximum capacity holding around 6,000 passengers, this ship is going to have huge amounts of space so the people who are on board are going to feel like they have their own huge cruise ships. That is really exciting. What separates MSC from a number of other cruise lines offering UK sailings is the fact that MSC are going to offer cruises to UK residents of all ages even if you've been vaccinated or not. So this is really useful, especially for people with kids, because a number of cruise lines such as Princess, p and Cunard have stated that they will only allow vaccinated individuals, which means that children aren't allowed on board because our government hasn't decided whether or not they're going to vaccinate children. So this is a really unique feature for MSC. And for those people who are thinking this might not be a good idea, MSC have a proven track record within the Mediterranean, having sailed since August 2020 on board ships such as MSC Grandiosa so they know what they're doing and they have done fantastically well and really shown how the cruise industry can operate during the era of COVID-19 and because she's such a large ship she offers a huge range of features and I'm going to include a lot of the renderings that I've been offered and also some pictures from her sister ship Grandiosa to give you an idea of what it looks like in real life. Now, inclusive dining options on board MSC include five main dining restaurants, and these are each designed around a particular theme of music, and the menus will change each day. Now, this is included within your cruise fare. Then there is the Marketplace Buffet, and this offers essentially an all-day buffet offering a huge range of food, and MSC have stated that for these UK sailings, they're going to include British favourites, such as things like roast dinners, as well as full English breakfast as well. For summer 2020, the buffet is going to follow the same service concept as her sister ship Grandiosa with food being plated for guests and the seating layout is going to be adapted to allow social distancing. Now there are a huge range of speciality dining options on board and this includes favourites such as the butcher's cut and this is a steakhouse on board MSC ships and something that I would love to try. There's also Japanese style Kato Tapanyaki which offers Japanese style food with a bit of a flair and from what I've seen it looks like it's quite a spectacle. There's also the Kato Sushi Bar where sushi, sashimi and tempura are made right in front of you so for people wanting to explore slightly different styles of food this will be definitely one for you. MSC Virtuosa also includes two new restaurants. This includes Indochine which combines Vietnamese classics with a French twist such as a green papaya salad as well as Vietnamese 
Vietnamese spring rolls. There's also Ola, Tacos and Cantina. And this is a street food dining idea by MSC. This will offer Latin American and Mexican inspired dishes which are made to share. And that is something I would challenge because I very rarely share my food, but there you go. There's also a salsa bar where you can design your own salsas or have stuff made for you. And to top it off, there is also a wide selection of tequilas. There are a huge range of dining options, but there's even more bars, with Virtuosa offering 21 different bars, and each bar on board Virtuosa offers something completely different, with the newest concept by MSC is MSC Starship, and your drinks are served by none other than a humanoid robotic bartender known as Rob and Rob is able to design 16 signature cocktails as well as a potentially infinite number of personalized cocktails depending on what you want. And this includes some really funkily named cocktails such as Black Hole Punch, Galactic Cloud and Jupiter Passion. Now, I really like this idea because apparently the bar is going to feature 3D holograms, a digital art wall, as well as a 12-seater interactive table, which is apparently going to help people explore space on their own personalised galactic tour. And cocktails and space exploration is something I never imagined would work together, but they're trying that on Virtuosa. So that seems something that will be really quirky, but really cool as well. And you also get to keep the glass that your drink is served in as a memento which I think is quite cool. Now in a completely different style there's also a champagne bar which will offer a range of champagnes and you can even choose accompaniments such as oysters, crab and even caviar. Now there's also the Latelier Bar and Art which offers wines and signature cocktails and you will also have a pop-up art gallery and live jazz music in the bar as well. Now a bar that I really want to try out has to be the Sky Bar. Now this acts as a observation lounge in the middle of the ship and is designed in an art deco theme and this is something that is definitely something I would want to try on board Virtuosa. Other key features on board has to be the Galleria Virtuosa. Now this is a 112 meter long indoor promenade and will feature the longest LED dome at sea and MSC tend to have different types of LED shows going on throughout the day and in the evening and there's a huge range of shops and specialty restaurants running along its length. Other quirky features include the fact that there's going to be a full size bowling alley and also a F1 simulator which utilizes VR. So not something you would expect expect on a cruise ship and would be lots of fun for all ages. There's also the Theatre La Comédie which offers a number of Broadway style shows and will feature three sittings per night and in non-social distancing times can hold a thousand people. Another fantastic entertainment option is going to be the Carousel Lounge and this features wraparound seating around the whole stage and this will feature special performances including Soul Sisters which features a singing trio harking back to the days of Motown and I think this venue also looks absolutely incredible and quite a unique design compared to your standard theatre so that will definitely be an impressive area to visit as well. Now, if the casino is something that you're interested in, then the Red Gems Casino will offer 164 slot machines as well as 12 tables for classic games such as poker and things like that. Now, moving to the outside areas of the ship, there is a huge number of pools on board and the Atmosphere Pool is actually one of the largest pools at sea. And I really like this space because there seems to be a copious amount of sunbeds and seems to be a fantastic place to spend a relaxing sea day. Now, further back, there is also the safari pool and this will feature a slide over roof which will ensure that you can enjoy the pool in all weather and I think that may be well utilized especially if the British weather doesn't play ball. Now at the stern of the ship there is also the horizon pool which offers beautiful wake views and some quirky designs in the area as well. There's other outdoor activities including the Himalayan bridge ropes course which sound both incredible and also terrifying simultaneously and there's also the wild forest aqua park which sounds really cool because it features three twisting slides and I've never actually been on a water slide on a cruise ship, but this would be incredible. Now, for those people who want to have a bit of pampering, there's also the Aurea Spa offering a range of treatments, and there's also a gym as well. Now, MSC Virtuosa, being the size she is, offers a huge range of accommodation, and I could probably make an entire video just talking about that. She features your typical interior cabins, as well as sea view, balcony cabins, and also suites. But an extra level is the Yacht Club, 
And this really builds on the idea of a ship within a ship concept because you pay significantly more for these suites, but within them you have a dedicated concierge service. There's also a 24 hour butler service, a complimentary minibar within your suite, but also unlimited drinks within all MSC Yacht Club areas, as well as within other bars and restaurants within the ship. Now, areas which you can access with the Yacht Club is the Top Sail Lounge, which will offer beautiful panoramic views, and there's also the One Pool Deck, which has its own private swimming pool, whirlpool baths, a sun deck, and a bar. There is also a dedicated Yacht Club restaurant, which will offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a la carte menus, and can be really healthy or really indulgent, depending on what you're fancying. There are other benefits to the Yacht Club as well, such as access to the thermal suite, there's 24 hour room service and the delivery is free and you will have priority embarkation so that is really interesting. Now I do have a separate video talking all about MSC's health protocols but briefly there is going to be social distancing in place throughout the ship. There's also going to be the mandatory use of face masks in public areas with the exception of when you're sitting at the bar or at the restaurants or if you're enjoying the sun deck. There's going to be sanitization multiple times throughout the day with hospital grade disinfectant and a huge amount of hand sanitizer throughout the ship. And for those people who want to get off the ship at the multiple ports that Virtuosa is offering, you are not able to do so on your own. You have to be part of a shore excursion, essentially a extension of the protective bubble which you are enjoying. Now for those individuals who haven't received both doses of the COVID vaccine, and for those who haven't had the vaccine at all, you will need to take and show evidence of a lateral flow test or a PCR test within 72 hours prior to the ship's departure. And they say that they will accept things such as email or a printed document. Anyone who is fully vaccinated or is under the age of two will not need to adhere to this stipulation. However, every guest, whether they be vaccinated or not, will undergo a, a screening process on embarkation day. And this will include a contactless temperature to check a health questionnaire as well as a COVID-19 swab test before you get onto the ship. Now I know it might seem like there are lots of rules and stipulations but MSC are being extremely cautious as they have been in the Mediterranean and it's worked really well and for those people who are lucky enough to go on Virtuosa I think you're going to have a fantastic time. What makes Virtuosa even more significant is the fact that the sailings of Virtuosa reflect a restart of domestic cruising within the United Kingdom. This is huge because the cruise industry has been one of the worst hit industries by the COVID-19 pandemic and the fact that cruises are finally restarting again means that cruising has the chance to show everyone what it can do and that people can go on cruises safely and have a fantastic time. So I can't wait to see what everyone's thoughts of Virtuosa are and all the other cruises that are taking place this summer. So I really hope you enjoyed my video and if you have please like and subscribe because it's always appreciated. If you want to know more about Cruising with Matthew then please take a look at my social media, the links are in the description below. I really hope that you're all doing well and I can't wait to see you in my next video. So until next time this is Cruising with Matthew and thank you so much for watching.